Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're given the function f of x is equal to x squared over 1 plus e x. And we're tasked with finding the first and second derivatives of this. So for the first derivative, we're going to use the quotient rule because we have a fraction here. So it's going to be the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. This is going to be equal to 1 plus e to the x times the derivative of x squared. We have a power function. Bring down the exponent, 2, into the coefficient. And then your new exponent is going to be 2 minus 1, which is 1, which is x to the first is just x. And we have minus x squared. The derivative of 1 is 0. So the 0 plus the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. 0 plus e to the x is e to the x. This over... 1 plus e to the x times 1 plus e to the x. So, on top we have 2x plus 2x e to the x minus x squared e to the x. And on the bottom we have 1 plus e to the x plus another e to the x is plus 2 e to the x plus e to the x times e to the x is e to the x squared, e to the x squared. You when you have this to the power, you can multiply the exponents, so e to the 2x. Okay. Continuing here, we have this is the first derivative, and we are actually tasked with finding the second derivative as well. So for that, we're going to do the power function again. And that is going to, or power function, the quotient rule, which is going to be the denominator times the derivative of the denominator uh, I forgot a term there. Minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator Put that over so you can see it over the denominator squared. Um, so we get one plus two e to the x plus e to the two x times the derivative of this. So we have linear term, so its derivative is its coefficient, which is one plus two times, we have a x e to the x in here, so we're gonna have to use the product rule. So it's gonna be the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Um, this is that minus derivative of x squared. Bring down your exponent, new exponent to minus one, x to the first power, leave that as it is. Minus two x plus two x e to the x minus x squared e to the x times the derivative of one is zero, so we can ignore it. Two, the derivative of e to the x to e to the x and the derivative of e to the 2x, um, we can take the derivative is just itself for when you're dealing with e to the x, but we also have to take the derivative of the exponent. So this is equal to derivative of 2x, linear term, coefficient 2. So it's 2e to the 2x plus 2e to the 2x. This is all over 1 plus 2e to the x plus e to the 2x squared. Writing this out one final time, we have 1 plus 2e to the x plus e to the 2x times 2 plus 2x times the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x, plus 2 e to the x 
times the derivative of x. Linear term, derivative is its coefficient, which is 1, so 2 e dx times 1, so we don't even have to write the 1. Minus 2x. Minus 2x plus 2x e dx minus x squared e dx times 2 e dx plus 2 e to the 2x. And this is over 1 plus 2 e dx plus e to the 2x squared. This is your second derivative. If you want, you can go ahead and distribute these and simplify like terms, but it's not necessary. It's not going to help you with your understanding of the problem. Um, and you probably would not be expected for this problem on a test to distribute this out because it's just kind of a waste of time. It would just be testing your algebra skills, which is not the point of this problem. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.